Hey everyone, it's Ashley here with Lilac Corp. A lot of people think that they were not infected with the herpes virus even if they got a cold sore from time to time. The reality, however, is that if you've ever gotten a cold sore on your mouth, you have herpes. As Morgan Bedford wrote for Cosmopolitan, if you don't have herpes light or the freemium version with in-app purchases and ads or beginner's herpes, you have regular full-blown, 100% real herpes. Okay, but it's just a cold sore, right? Uh, wrong. HSV-1, which usually causes cold sores around the mouth, can also spread to the genitals if a couple engages in oral sex during an oral herpes outbreak. In other words, if either partner has a cold sore and then goes down on his or her partner, the uninfected partner may become infected. As Dr. Greg Cumberford says, we in the medical community are starting to see more HSV-2 on the lips and HSV-1 on the genitals. By performing oral sex on someone with HSV-2, you can get mouth sores, and someone with lip sores can give their partner HSV-1 on the genitals by performing oral sex. Yeah, you thought you only had a cold sore, but you just gave your partner the gift that keeps on giving. Not nice. Don't do it. Not recommended. Bottom line, don't kiss others, especially kids or pregnant women, when you have a cold sore. Don't engage in oral sex when you have a cold sore. If you want to help boost your immune system against those latent herpes viruses, use Gene Eden Veer, the powerful antiviral supplement. You can click on the bottle in the corner of the video to purchase Gene Eden Veer. Or to learn more about it, check out the website virusabc.com. I'll see you next time and don't forget to subscribe.